The sixth eruption of the Swartzing volcanic system uh, in the area of the Stora Skokfield started very vigorously with a lot of pressure releasing uh, the magma to the surface. It has a lot of gas at the initial stage. It bubbles up and you can see through the fountains of the lava it creates these bubbles create fountains like what you do with a soft drink you, if it is shaken and it has lots of gas when you try to open it up it fountains out and that is what we have uh, in the initial days in the first week with this eruption reaches 170 meters uh, high into the air and that's the time that the magma entry and exit are unhampered we can see that actually magma reservoir is getting emptied the downward trend in the red line you can see here shows that the magma is actually drained fast to the atmosphere to the surface of the earth then it gets flat like a flat drink gases are reduced and you don't see much fountains rise into the air something is blocking it either the gas has uh, reduced the amount of the gas and volatiles or something else is blocking it Whatever the result is that we see the upward trend means the magma coming in but not going out. So the initial uh, stage is that the magma accumulates. That's what we see in the GPS data you can see here. And that's what we see at the surface. This is an old uh, K1 crater area. We don't see anything there. We don't see anything in the Storo Skorkfell area. No visible beyond the rim. No visible activity beyond the rim. Whatever is happening within the rim of the volcano, thanks to the Chinese uh, tourists, we can ha actually have a glimpse of what's going on. We have passed the sign of the overflow and the lava tube has formed. So the invisible part of the eruption is finished. From this angle, we cannot see unless we put our camera somewhere better. I have a video about something similar here. Which compares the development of the Littrefotor and the Fagadesio volcanoes in 2020-21. You can enjoy that. Anybody who watched the Fagadesio and now the Littrefotor volcano will be surprised how similar they are now getting to look. Of course, we had the Fagadesio erupting from the March to almost September. And that is almost six months. And uh, this volcano was a center of attention in the Iceland. A lot of tourists just come in for seeing this. It was uh, the surrounding areas of it. it was like a amphitheater. You could sit there and just observe. And uh, with the volcano in the Little Horto, we have a different situation. After uh, those uh, 2021, Fergadesville looks like in that oxidized. It taught us a lot about the geology of the region, about the way the volcanoes erupt in this region. Fagodestral system is now an established system of the volcanoes. Uh, little Kotor started with the splitting of the ground. We saw it actually how it happened. We were expecting it. We were monitoring the um, movement of the magma. We had collapses, tsunamis, and a most beautiful uh, complete rupture of the volcano on the west side. And the flooding by the lava, Christmas lights shining at the margin of the lava. And uh, the extent of the movement of the lava over the past uh, few weeks was uh, amazing. We saw it uh, extending from uh, nothing to something really big. At the moment is in a stage that it has several collapses and now is building up its wall crater. It's an elongated one, 90 meter by, my estimate is around 40 meter or 4 to 5. And the height of it is at the maximum is uh, 35 against the 50 meters of the Fagodesvio. That extended from the original site now to a big area. And its lava is almost touching uh, and uh, overlapping the Fagodesvio and Merida volcanoes. The extent of the lava and the volume of it is now 12 million uh, cubic meters, more than the 2022 Merida volcano. Fagodesvio erupted for uh, six months. so. The Little Kotor has a lot to achieve yet by that. All of this about, we are talking, is just about a tiny volcano. Compared to the scale of the volcanoes of the world, which I showed the Fekodesvio by this yellow dot, and uh, something like Sakurajima or Shishaldin, uh, the volcanoes in this uh, area are tiny. For example, Damovand is more than, it covers the whole peninsula probably if you transfer it there. 
But because of the internet age, we can actually see it. Everybody can see around the world how this volcano develops.